Hello and welcome back everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Here in this video, we are gonna be doing some SAT math questions. So let's start our today's video. So here on the screen, you can see there is a question 100 times 23 plus 7 equals to 100L plus 100L. These questions I have taken from Khan Academy. So now let's solve the solution. So here 23 plus 7 is equals to 30. Therefore, we can write 10 times 30 is equals to 100L plus 100L equals to 200L. Therefore, 10 times 30 is equals to 200L. We know that 10 times 30 is 300. Therefore, 300 is equals to 200L. So the 200 from RHS right hand side will come to left hand side to be divided from 300. So we can write 300 divided by 200 is equals to L. We can simply cancel out the 0 from 300 and 200. So the remaining part is 3 by 2 is equals to L. Therefore, our correct answer is 3 by 2 L. Therefore, the value of L is 3 by 2 or you can simply write it as 1.5. Now, let's move on to another question. Another question goes like this. 4 minus 1 by 3 times Z is equals to minus 7Z plus 6. And here are the given options. And you can try it for yourself or you can just skip the video and see the solution. So here goes the solution. So we can find the value of z by first isolating the term z then getting rid of the coefficient. Since adding and subtracting fraction can get messy, we can get rid of the fractional coefficient in the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the coefficient reciprocal. A coefficient is 1 by 3, so its reciprocal is uh, 3. So we need to multiply both of the side by 3. So multiplying both of the side by 3, we, we can cancel out the coefficient of the z. So we can simply write it as 2L minus Z is equals to minus 21Z plus 18. Now we can solve the equation for Z. Now we will add 21Z on the both side. Therefore, 2L minus Z plus 21Z is equals to minus 21Z plus 18 plus 21Z. Simplifying those terms, we get 2L plus 20Z is equals to 18. Now we need to remove the 2L from the left hand side. Therefore, we will subtract 2L from the both of the side. 2L plus 20Z minus 2L is equals to 18 minus 2L. Here the 2L, 2L get cancelled out plus uh, 2L and minus 2L will get cancelled out and RHS 18 minus 2L is equals to 6 and in the left hand side only 20 gets remaining. So we will divide both of the sides by 20 to get uh, 1 in the coefficient of Z. 20Z divided by 20 is equals to 6 divided by 20. 20Z divided by 20 is just 1Z. So Z is equals to 6 divided by 20. In the simplest term, Z is equals to 3 by 10. Therefore, Z is equals to 3 by 10 is the solution of the equation shown above. Now let's go to the another question. Another question goes like this. Minus 5 times X plus 3 is equals to 2X plus 7 plus 5X. And here are the solution given below in which one of them is only correct and we need to find the solution of the given equation so now let's move on to the solution so first of all we need to open the bracket using the minus 5 therefore minus 5 times x is minus 5x and minus 5 times plus 3 is minus 15 is equals to 7x plus 7 now let's subtract 7x and add 15 to the both of the side minus 5x minus 15 minus 7x 7x is subtracted from both of the side is equals to 7x plus 7 minus 7x. We have subtracted 7x from the both side. Therefore, the 7x from the right hand side will get cancelled out. Plus 7x minus 7x will get cancelled out. Therefore, the remaining terms on the left hand side are minus 5x minus 15 minus 7x. Minus 5x and minus 7x are the like terms. So, they, they will get added which equals to minus 12x minus 15 is equals to 7. Now we will add 15 on the both of the side to remove uh, minus 15 from the left hand side. So it goes minus 12x minus 15 plus 15 is equals to 7 plus 15. Minus 15 and plus 15 will get cancelled out. So the remaining terms are minus 12x is equals to 7 plus 15 is equals to 22. Therefore minus 12x is equals to 22. Now we will make coefficient of x to be 1. Therefore we need to divide the coefficient by minus 12. So we need to divide both of the side by minus 2L. Therefore, minus 2LX divided by minus 2L is equals to 22 divided by minus 2L. So therefore, minus 2L minus 2L will get cancelled out from the left hand side. And X will be equals to minus 22 divided by 2L. So reducing the fraction into the simplest term, X is equals to minus 11 by 6. Therefore, the solution for the X is minus 11 by 6. So this is the end for today's video. 
and if you did find this video a little bit useful and informative make sure to leave us a like on the video and if you are new you can subscribe to our youtube channel for more interesting content like this and let me know in the comment section if you want more ma math practice question for SAT by commenting in the comment section if you want more questions to practice for SAT so by saying this much i want to end this video right here thank you all for watching this video have a good day everyone and best of luck